Hey guys, so I just picked this up pretty recently. Um, it's actually been sitting on my desk for a few days. This is La Potato, or the uh, AML S905X-CC. Um, so this is a single board computer, um, Libra computer board, and they call it La Potato. That's, I guess, their code name or whatever for it. So any case, let's open this up and take a look. So this is the board, comes in this static wrap, and this is what it looks like. Extra piece of foam there. So it's a similar form factor to a Raspberry Pi. Very similar to a Raspberry Pi. All right, so starting over here, we have the micro USB power in right here. And over here, we have a UART header and we have an HDMI 2.0 port, full-sized HDMI port here. And moving on from that, all right, so we do have some audio headers on here. We also have our 3.5 millimeter AV jack, so you plug your headphones or speaker into here. Now, we also have a, we have a U-boot button right here. Um, let me move a little closer. It's a tiny little button right there, and we have 100 megabit fast ethernet. So kind of disappointing that it's not gigabit ethernet, but it is kind of a low spec system and it's uh, pretty affordable. So it's, it's I guess, acceptable, but if you want faster ethernet, then you might want to pick a different SBC. Um, in any case, we have four USB 2.0 type A ports over here. So four USB 2.0 and what else? So over here, we have the actual SOC or system on a chip. So it contains a quad, it's a quad core ARM Cortex A53 CPU, and it has a Pentacore ARM Mali 450 GPU supporting 4K AVE 10, I guess, a four, yeah, AVE 10 VPU. I'm not really sh that familiar with that component, but in any case, that's the GPU on it. So yeah. Mali 450 GPU, along with the uh, Cortex A53. So that's the, the GPU and the CPU all combined into one chip. That's your system on a chip right there. And um, over here we have RAM. Now this, this is a two gig version of this. Um, so we have some RAM here and here. And wow, this is not focused, um, apologies for that. Um, yeah, so I was, I was looking directly at the board and not what my camera is showing. So yeah, RAM here, and also on the back here, we have some RAM, right? Now, we have our 40-pin low-speed header, or the, the GPIO headers over here. Bunch of pins, you can connect all sorts of sensors and other great things to this. And let's see, what else do we want to cover on this? So if you flip it over, you have an eMMC connector right here. So you would uh, generally put the eMMC device right over here. There's kind of an open space for it. And this is the, the spot where it actually plugs in. And we also have, let's see, right, right here, you have your SD card slot. So slide your SD card right in here. And it, this actually has an IR receiver. So this thing right here is an IR receiver. Um, I'm not used to seeing that on Raspberry Pis. That's kind of a new thing for me. Kind of an interesting feature to have on this board. Um, so maybe we'll try something out with that. Now we have a few LEDs showing like if it's powered on and activity and stuff like that. So there are three LEDs right here, or sorry, LEDs. I, I, I still, I don't know why I call them LEDs after all these years. Um, but it was pointed out to me that I probably shouldn't do that. In any case, so that is the hardware on the board. This is this is what you get. Um, it's a neat little board, um, uh, pretty, pretty terrific and affordable thing. If you want to know where you can pick this up, check the link in the description. Um, it's going to be a link to where you can buy this on Amazon or some other online marketplace. I'll try to put a link in the description for this, so you can check that out if you want to know where you can pick this up. And also you might want to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of other great content, um, single board computers, electronics, um, hardware, software, coding, 3D printing, um, you know, servers, 
Linux, Windows, Mac OS, all sorts of great stuff you don't want to miss out on. We take things apart and stuff, so hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you don't, uh, otherwise, you know, YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos. You, you're going to want to stay tuned for those. We have a lot of great stuff coming up. You might want to check out some of our existing videos, and you might want to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you've tried this board out yourself. You know, leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know. Just leave a comment down below. Any questions, comments, criticisms, we, we want to hear it all. And that's about everything we want to cover today for this board. So, yeah, that, that's the next video we do on this board. Um, I may be posting it directly after this video or maybe in a, in a few videos. Or I may post a few other videos before that. But coming up soon, we're going to test this board out. Um, so I have yet to flash the OS onto this. I, I've been looking at some of the OS options. There's Ubuntu, there's Debian, there are Android options. They have like customized images for this on the, on the, if you go to the website for Libra computer, um, they have a bunch of customized images. So yeah, www.libra.computer. Any, any case you go there, they have a bunch of customized images. They have a custom version of Raspberry Pi OS or Raspbian that they've customized to, to work with this a little bit better and they made it a little bit faster and more compact. Um, <clears throat> they have some notes about running Ubuntu on this. If you have the one gig version, there's gonna be a lot of swapping and it's gonna be a problem. And there's some other uh, warnings you should check out on their site. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you pick out an OS for this. But um, I've been poking around at that a little bit. Um, but the next video on this board is going to be me. Uh, uh, I'm going to have the SD card installed, and I'm going to show you what the OS looks like on this and a little bit about what you can do with it. So that's going to be coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.